It's just up, it's so steep. God, there's nowhere to go. This ridge was just straight up and down. Whatever trail we were on is gone. I mean, if something's up here, it looks like it disappeared. I hope Russell's having more luck than I am. It wasn't an elk. It wasn't a bear. It wasn't a cougar. Whatever it was, it smelled like death. 13 miles to the northwest, Russell has tracked a strong putrid scent to the bottom of a ridge line where he believes Bigfoot may be hiding. Yeah. Oh, we got a trail out here. Come on. This isn't bad. Uh, check this out. This feels like asphalt. Oh, wow. That's kind of weird. What is that? Can you see that? Is that a... It looks like a building. I'm gonna use light. Let's see what we got. Holy cow, look at that. It is, it's a building. I wonder if this is one of the old abandoned coal mining towns. Let's go have a look at this. This is creepy, Russ. This is weird. Abandoned man-made facilities. Once they're left and man has gone, nature will climb in over top of it. Animals are opportunists. They're going to see this as a free shelter. This is definitely something worth investigating. Let's see what we got. You seeing that? That's creepy. Well, that's been there a while, too. That's just weird. This reminds me of the stuff we found last year. Last year, as the team tracked Bigfoot through Oregon, they encountered the remains of an abandoned town. Children's mattress. That was stricken with tragedy. These are all children. What the hell happened out here? A lot of Bigfoot encounters have occurred in areas that have seen a large amount of disturbing energy. See what's else going on here. Look at that. See how deep that is? It looks like it's just been demolished. Look how nature just come right in over top of it. The bugs are eating me alive. I would imagine I'm walking through these weeds where sidewalks and streets were. Just to think how this used to be a productive coal mine in town with all the hustle and bustle and just has that vibe of just, just sad to see something that was once prosperous and strong being destroyed and taken back over by nature. That smell I was tracking, it's gone now. I'm not gonna find anything in the middle of this. I'm gonna get on out of here. See if I can't find a place to set up a camp. Two miles to the south, all right, back in the forest again, here we go. Maria and Ronnie are preparing to investigate the trail that leads to the water source. Okay, the idea is to keep a low profile. We'll just use the IR lights. We got the walkies. So if you run into anything, we can kind of just keep in contact, but we'll have to try to keep it to a whisper the entire time. Well, I want to head down to the water source. Down this way. All right, if just, you hear anything, just radio me. Same. All right, good luck, man. Okay, good luck. Starting at their camp, Ronnie and Berea will separate and explore the trail in opposite directions. Ronnie will go toward the trailhead over half a mile away, while Berea will head towards the water source at the trail's end. I've spent a lot of time doing nocturnal searches for for primates in different jungles around the world. But never in complete darkness like this, using the IR lights, where the visibility is so tough to adjust to. But if there's 
something out here, it's going to be at the water source. Where there's water, there's life. Before tonight's investigation, they hung 12 cameras along the trail to catch anything that their night vision cameras miss. I mean, it's really about using your hearing more than it is about using your eyes. I have a ridge up this direction. Go straight up. We're just trying to stay as quiet as we can. This forest is just super quiet. So quiet. Too quiet. Got something. Something small, which could be something big. I'm hearing some popping. Feels like it's coming from the top of this ridge. It's definitely something. Hey, Ronnie, come in. Go ahead. I'm getting close to the water source. Be careful. You too. The water's so loud here that that's basically all you can hear. Morea is just yards from the water source and the abandoned mine that could be a habitat for a large creature. me 